Hi guys, it's Mel here from LW Scrapping. I'm going to do a layout for you guys for Mixed Media Mayhem week one of January. Um, and I'm not quite sure who it was. It might have been Rebecca. I may have picked this scrap lift out. This isn't a very good picture of it. I'll put a better one at the um, start and end of the um, video. Ooh, can't get my words out. Um, now I'm going to do two photos and... Being Baby Got Scraps um, month as well, um, it's a hop where we just use scraps, okay? So, what I did is I grabbed my um, summer beach um, thing and I went through and got all the little scraps out. And I got a heap. I grabbed a couple of big pieces. Oh, well, I've only got one big piece. So, I grabbed lots of little bits out. I went through my other scraps. I just grabbed two bigger pieces out, but then decided not to use them. And what I did is I just grabbed all the little ones and I just layered. I'm using, I've am i got two photos of, uh, it was the last time we put a vegetable patch in. Um, and I had carrots coming up. I've got, the, I've got the beet, uh, beetroot and broccoli and stuff in. And I think over here further was the corn and then up here further was the zucchinis. Um, and then I have another bit in the middle and I grow sweet um, peas and um, potatoes and stuff around my compost bin. So this was the last time I've actually had a proper vegetable garden in the garden because we've had such bad seasons here. The vegetables just don't grow and it's like you can't even get them in until December because of the weather. You can't have the frosts get them. So, I'm going to do that. I want to get my, because I want to get 2020 photos finished. And I haven't got too many to go. And I knew I had some embellishments from um, the Ginger's Corner um, embellishment swaps that I, that I play along with. And there was a couple of just, and this one is very, with the mouse mice on it. That's very appropriate for my vegetable garden. Because... Not in the middle compost bin, but in the one over near the bin uh, fence. I had mice living in that compost bin. I opened the lid and they jumped out at me. It's needless to say, I've never been near that bin since because I hate mice. Anyway, let's go on. Let's not vent anymore. So I've just got bits and pieces. So it's got a little bit of smooshing around the picture and the bits up here because I'll put a embellishment cluster there, embellishment cluster here or here and I'll find just something on my you know, sheets of what I've got left for summer. Um, Hello sunshine could be it because there was sunshine coming through. Um, so let's just go like this roughly. I just thought I'd put that green bit at the bottom just to tie it in a little. I'm not really, I could even put, I'm not that phased about, you know what, I'm just going to go roughly there and there. So, because I've got greens and yellows, I'm actually going to try and do a little bit of, I've got this Kaser Iridescent Spray Lime, and I'm going to try and water that, oh, we might do the yellow first. I'll do the yellow first. On just this Distress Ink Mustard Seed. I must get another yellow. Although it's really good that... Oh, that's not the right way to spray the bottle. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? I'm just going to touch it slightly. yellow. Now let's see what we can do with this. And I'll do splatters with this one. But I just I wondered if I spray it on there. 
and then I give it a bit of water. Water, it's gonna come out like. Comes out more yellow than green. Let's wipe that off. be lime and it looks more yellow. I can't figure this one out yet. I want to do my spiders before I... Oops, I don't know where that went. Oopsies, oh there. Yeah. I'll come off. So that looks more green. with that. Let's see if we bluff it up if it stays green. Oh yeah, that looks alright. It does stay green, good eye. Right, let's just go like that. We might even do some more at the end. So we'll get these stuck down. Now yeah, I've got ink all over me. Very weird. That one. Okay, come on, double sided tape playing nicely today. I think it wants to play nicely with me. I'm going to have down below the um, Facebook group to Mixed Media Mayhem and by all means please come along, join the Facebook group and then show us your take on the what we, um, you know, the recipes or the face lifts, the, the scrap lifts and things. By all means please come and do that. It's good to see what other people come up with. Me, I just wanted to get some photos finished and <laughs> I'm doing vegetables. I just tore these. That one's the next longest one. And I'm just going to layer them over each other. So I'm going to go like that. That green one. Now these are actually border strips off the summer. It was actually Simple Stories Summer Loving Collection. I don't normally do stuff like this, but today I decided layering and because I don't have many embellishments for vegetables, I thought this was a good way to to do it actually. I might go like this. I'm gonna go like this up here. No, we're going to go like that down here. I'm going to go like this up here. Hello, sunshine. I wonder if I can go like that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's go around that in yellow. That's something that I really need to do this year. I really need to clean this flopping desk once and for all. And try and keep it clean. But do you think that's going to work? Anybody? Anybody? No, probably not. No point trying. Little 
nice he's on there we might pop a little tomato I, actually i had tomatoes over near that compost bin too they grew beautiful and then after that year i grew them in pots up on my de deck but i'll go around this one in yellow as well Got that that's what the paper towel did. <laughs> I learn a lesson every day. I used to go up to the vegetable garden with my thongs on. Until I saw those mouse jump, mice jump out at me. And then I never wore thongs again. I wore gloves. <laughs> I really have a problem with mice. I really do. I'm petrified of them, to tell you the truth. Best of summer ever. That can go on there. I wonder if I could use up this... Summer wishes feet in the grass. Let's go that up there. Feet in the grass. We've got another couple used. What have we got in here? This could be our title. It's a summer state of mind. Right. What other little bits on here in this sticker book have we got? We might just stick. 20 back in there. I think we've got a word called grow. Oh no, that's grass. Got some little flowers. A lemon there because I've got a lemon tree. Oh, I reckon that'll do me actually. So, with doing the yellow and the green, I'm going to actually do green nouveau drops as my accent. This is a new one I got before Christmas. And there you go that's my layout done using scraps doing layers using an ink I haven't really used much of since last year when I got it um, I think I might just leave it as it is I think it's done enough ink on it and I'm happy with that everyone got a few more scraps used a few more stickers used excellent okay so if you think you might like to have a go at this by all means pre pull it, pull it, pull it. please press pause take a screenshot and have a go I've got stuff everywhere um, at the same time if you do like what I've come up with if you give me a thumbs up that'd be really appreciated I will pop down below in the description box everyone playing along with Mixed Media Mayhem and everyone playing along with Baby Got Scraps. I will pop the Mixed Media Mayhem Facebook group there for you to come and join and have a go at some of the scrap lifts and recipes. 
Um, we'd love to have you all. We love having new people and seeing what other people come up with. Um, and yeah, go and check everyone else out on the list. Uh, if you're not subscribed to them already, please do. It doesn't cost to subscribe, like, or comment to any of us on YouTube. Um, and it helps us grow our channel and just give, you know, a like or a, a comment, something you might like, something on the layer you might like that they've done. Like you might like the little clusters or you might like the layering or the inking or something like that. Just gives us a, uh, a you know, uh, I get a good feeling from it. I get, oh, somebody's given me a comment. Yay. <laughs> and um, we'll all get back to you pretty, pretty quickly. Um, we all like getting comments. It's just a little thing that we like. Um, so if you're new to my channel, I do hope I've done enough for you to consider subscribing. Yes, it's a bit different for me. I'm not normally a layers person, but I'm getting there. I'm getting used to it. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Happy scrapping and bye for now.